District 6 Commissioner over the last four years. And when I first ran four years ago, um, one of the things that I was focused on was reconnecting the priorities of people back with government. I thought that our local government was focused on too many divisive issues and not enough of the right issues to move our community forward. And many of you, obviously the majority of you, agreed, and I was overwhelmingly elected. The priorities that I've been focused on, first and foremost, for those of you that are aware of the responsibilities of a commissioner, is uh, that we approve the budget. And so first and foremost, so my priority was to get our fiscal house in order. When I started in office in 2008, our budget was $4 billion. You're all aware of the economic downturn that uh, forced us to push our pencils very hard and make a lot of difficult, tough decisions in government. And so over that period of time, we have cut nearly 25% or $1 billion uh, from our budget. And I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that was a tough job to do. Um, but we did it together as a board, and that's because we stayed focused on the priorities of our community. And moving forward, um, when we really look at the, uh, the main priorities that we're focused on now, everyone knows that we need to focus on job creation and economic development. And I tell you, it's a challenging environment. Our biggest thing that we've been focused on is partnership with the private sector and the and, uh, Economic Development Corporation to long-term diversify our local economy. And that's what we really need to focus on to really bring jobs here. We've become so dependent and reliant on the uh, building industry, the construction, which are vitally important to our community. But when all that, when those industries go south, the economy goes with it. So we're focused on bringing higher, high, higher paying jobs in the high tech industry, in the biomed industry, advanced manufacturing, IT industry, the finance industry, and that's how we're going to bring long-term job creation. On the shorter term, we passed a numerous uh, number of uh, small business incentives to help our local businesses get started. Uh, another part of my focus has been um, quality of life for our residents. As a former police officer, we all know that public safety uh, needs to be a high priority of our community. Because if people don't feel safe in our community, they're not going to want to stay here. And, and, more, and up, more than that, more people aren't going to want to move here. So I focused on cracking down on issues like um, the pill mills and prescription drug overdoses in our community. We focused on um, staged auto accidents, which has raised your local car insurance rates through, uh, through PIP fraud. And then we've also uh, focused on one of the top things in our county has been pedestrian and bicyclist deaths. And I've helped uh, pass a package that actually, in the last budget, gave eight and a half million dollars to make sure we can fix our most dangerous intersections. We've got a lot of things we're gonna, gonna continue to focus on. I appreciate all your uh, support that you've given me. And most importantly, we're gonna work together in the next four years to make this a better, safer, and, and much more diverse Hillsborough County. So thank you again, it's a pleasure to be here.